Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code by weekly contest 112, a medium level problem. But I would say the problem statement has made it tough, right? Otherwise, it's in. Uh, it's not that hard. I would say it's easier than the other th level three problems that you get in the contest, right? Let's see the problem statement, right? So it says that you are given an integer array nums and two positive integers m and k. Okay, let me increase the font. Yeah. Now return the maximum sum out of all almost unique sub arrays of length k of nums. If no sub array exists, return zero. Okay. So you are given an array. This is an array. Find the maximum sum out of all the almost unique sub arrays of length k. So generate all the sub arrays of length k and the, uh, whichever is an almost unique sub array for that you find the sum and whatever is the maximum sum you return it right now comes the question what is an almost unique sub array so a sub array of nums is almost unique if it contains at least right at least m pairwise distinct elements okay a sub array is a contiguous non empty subsequence of elements within an array now this this statement has made it complex right i uh, this is more or less to confuse you right so almost unique sub array means in simple words if i talk about it means that you have to find a sub array of length k and in that sub array of length k you should have at least m unique elements that is what it needs to say this pairwise distinct elements and other things are uh, more or less to confuse you right let me give you an example m is equals to 3 k is equals to 4 so generate the sub arrays of length 4 in all the sub arrays of length 4 if you have more than equal to or more than three distinct elements then that is a valid array valid sub array or almost unique sub array now for all such sub arrays satisfying these two conditions find out the maximum sum right simple so the first sub array of length 4 is this this one right 2 6 7 3 what's the sum it comes out to be 18 right now why is this a valid sub array 2 6 7 3 the length is 4 great how many distinct elements you have 1 2 3 4 which is more than 3 okay so this is a valid array sum is 18 let's move to the second one this is 6 7 3 and 1 again the length is 4 and the distinct element is again greater than 3 13 16 17 so till now the maximum sum is 18 then 7 3 1 and 7 length is 4 the number of distinct elements how many you have that is more than or equals to 3 1 2 3 great what's the sum uh, 14 15 16 17 18 so the maximum sum you get there are only three possible sub arrays and the maximum sum you get is 18 right let's check for this one okay length has to be 3 so 5 9 9 is it having uh you know one or more unique elements yes what's the sum 9 plus 9 18 plus 5 that is 23 now what's the second sub array it's 9 plus 9 plus 2 right because this is also what you call it um, this has more than one unique element right one or more unique elements so 9 plus 9 18 that come and plus 2 20 so obviously till now the maximum sum is 20 then you pick this one okay now this one again is a valid sub array but sum is low then again the sum is low the sum is low so maximum sum you get is 23 let's talk about this one fine so the length of the sub array has to be through 3 1 2 3 how many distinct elements you need at least three but there are only two distinct elements not a valid sub array take this one again uh, you do not have three distinct elements no the three distinct elements no three distinct elements and no three distinct elements so you do not have even a single valid sub array and hence your answer is zero getting it this is what the problem is asking us to do. now i hope the problem statement is easy right uh, this is the length of the sub array um, this is m and k and then uh, these are the uh, what do you call it uh, range of the numbers right so again implementation based problem why implementation place this is a sub array this is an array right you find the sum of this sub array right suppose uh, so obviously the length of every sub array has to be k okay now you also keep a track of how many distinct elements are here not keeping a track of distinct elements is easy right you can take a hash map why you take a hash map because you also need to keep a track of the frequencies right then you slide the window one one element remove this element add this element now keep updating your sum as well again if this also satisfy your condition update your answer if needed then again do this do this right so that is why sliding window technique 
आंसर इज जीरो आई टेक अश मैप बेसिकली टू कीप अ फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स आई हैव दिस द करेंट सम नाउ फॉर द फर्स्ट विंडो आई इज ग्रेटर देन आई गोज टिल के राइट इंसर्ट द एलिमेंट्स राइट सो दिस इज अ वे इन जावा राइट सो मैप डॉट पुट फॉर दिस एलिमेंट इफ यू ऑलरेडी हैव दैट एलिमेंट इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी बाई वन ओके और पुट इट विद अ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ वन दैट्स इट एंड इंक्रीज योर करेंट सम दिस इज अ वेरिएबल राइट नाउ This is for the first window, right? Now for the first window, if the number of distinct elements is more than equal to or more than m, that means it's a valid sub array. So answer is equals to this. Now sliding window, left is zero, right is k. Why? This is your sub array. This is index zero. This is index k minus one. This is index k dot 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 n minus one. So first window comprises of elements from zero to k minus one. Now which is the next element you will add? This one. Which is the next element you will remove? This one. so that is why left is something that you remove right is something that you are going to add now while right is less than n obviously this index has to be valid right so remove left element map dot put left elements frequency you decrease now if the frequency you decrease and if the frequency of the left element becomes zero right so you remove it from the map right that is not needed otherwise that can give you wrong answer why because in that case you'll have an element with frequency zero and to check the number of distinct elements in a map you just check the size of the map right so this element uh, will give you a false positive right also since you are removing it uh, from the current sum uh, decrease its value right done left plus plus and then add the right element so you increase the frequency add it into current sum and do right plus plus simple this is how sliding window looks like now check that is it a valid sub array if map dot size is greater than equals to m then update your answer and finally return the answer right so this is what the solution needs right i hope if the problem statement would have been easier uh, more number of people would have solved it and i would say the accuracy was all, would would also have been much higher than what it is right now okay so yeah that's it for this solution uh, whenever you are given such problems right uh, and you are get confused with the problem statement the best way is to you know see the examples right just see the examples the first example itself give you feel of what is it is trying to say and the second example makes it crystal clear right and in fact the third example so i i would say problem statement was a little bit confusing but the examples compensated it that okay what they are trying to ask right that is what i feel okay so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well and in case you have any queries related to the solution mention that in the comment section I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.